Good afternoon, Bloom Trojans. This is a Thursday show. Coming up on today's edition of Bloom Scene, students' favorite celebrities. I am your host, Kyla Lee. On activities, we have Marcus Hernandez, and on sports, we have Edgar Zarate. It is Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. Only five episodes left this school year, and you're watching Bloom Scene. Now for our top story, tomorrow, Friday, May 3rd, there'll be no school. Please plan accordingly. In other news, have you heard about the combined elective graphic novels? All right, who am I here with today? Hold on, Alvarado. All right, um, Mr. Alvarado, what is graphic novels in my class? Uh, it's a senior English course. It's exactly what's in the description, right? It's a course that focuses on graphic novels and manga. Uh, but what's different about that course is it's taken in tandem with an art class. So what happens is you will learn the literary components of graphic novels and manga in your English class, but then you also work with Dr. Feldman in an art class to then learn how to analyze the artwork of mangas and graphic novels. And the goal is at the end of the year, the two semesters, you will have created your own graphic novel slash manga. I think it's easy. If you are interested in that medium, uh, you should, or if you're sort of intrigued about it, maybe you aren't somebody who reads a lot of graphic novels and manga, but you're always been like, oh man, that seems, that seems like something I might be into. Uh, give it a shot. You know, like, uh, you also need to um, be ready to create, because the end goal is a creating of your own comic book or graphic novel. But again, the, the focus isn't on whether or not you're a ready-made artist that's going to be publishing your book tomorrow. The focus is on just discovering the medium and making a concerted effort to sort of create something of your own based on the information that you learn. Talk to your counselor if you are interested. That's it for announcements. Let's go to Mark with your activity. Thanks, Kyla. Don't forget that the following students had work selected for the annual Tri-County High School Art Exhibition at South Shore Arts in Munster, Indiana. All students who entered work may be selected for awards. We will announce awards when we are notified. Please come see the exhi uh, exhibit. It is impressive. South Shore Arts is at 1040 Ridge Road, Munster, Indiana, 46321. The award ceremony is this Sunday, May 5th, from 1 to 3 p.m. The award presentation begins at 1.30 p.m. The exhibition is open for viewing until May 12, 2024. That is it for activities. Now let's go to Edgar with sports. Thanks, Marcus. The boys' volleyball team lost to Proviso East on Monday. They faced Joliet Central on Wednesday, but we don't have a score yet. The team is currently 3-20 and overall and 1-1 one one in conference. The basketball team lost... Or the baseball team lost in Kankakee last Wednesday ag again and last Thursday. The team played Moments Tuesday and Hillcrest Wednesday. We are still waiting for both scores. The baseball team is currently 9 and 8 and 1 overall and 6 and 5 in conference. They play TF South Tuesday and Thorn, Thorn next Monday. You're going to be hungry May 6th? Come out to the single de Mayo game. We got $1 tacos. The girls' soccer team beat Crete Money on Monday, three to two, or three to zero. The girls are currently eight and eight and one overall, and seven and two in conference. They play Breachers on Wednesday, but we don't have a score yet. They face Kankakee away next Monday. The softball team lost to Oakland on Monday. They face TF North on Tuesday and Lincoln Way West on Wednesday, but we don't have a score yet. The girls are currently 16-4 overall. They are ranked first in the conference with an undefeated record of 10-0. to They face Thorn next Monday. That's it for sports. Let's take it back to Kyla. Before we go, we recently asked students about our celebrities that they want to meet. Hello, my name is Nico and I'm here with Monte. You know who it is. Let's All right, it. question of the day is if you can meet any celebrity, who would it be? Y'all already know, bro. Who don't want to meet YB, bro? Who don't want to meet YB, bro? Come on. Bro. Wado, Wado. Bro, come on. Best artist, 16 million now. Let's start there. Who then did it like him? 16 million now. He didn't hear M's when he was 16. 
I still got Rod. Let's Rye, start though. there. You got Rod away. Rod away can't even compete with Young Boy. Let's start there. They who made a song more, together. Who for got us, more yeah. figures? Who got more figures? Why be a Rod away? Let's get mad on here talking about Rod away. That's his favorite <laughs> artist. Hello, my name is Nico Taylor, and I'm here with Layla. Zara. So the question of today is, if you could meet any celebrity, who would it be? Frank Ocean. Probably Party Next Door. Who? Party Next Door. PND. Hey, he did. No. Oh, my bad. Why? Because that's my favorite artist, so. Because I really like his music. That's it? Yeah. Hello, my name is Nico Taylor, and I'm here with... Mrs. Stockwell. The one and only. The question of the day is, if you can meet any celebrity, who would it be? Her. What's up? My name is Nico Taylor, and I'm here with my... Nyla. The question of the day is, if you can meet any celebrity, who would it be? Huncho. Why? I want to know who hurt him to make the music he made, you know? Maybe you were the one, not the two, or the three. That's Boom Team. Teachers, remember to email your announcements to Mr. Cook, and we will see you here again.